Um, I'll introduce each of our speakers in turn, but we're very fortunate to, for our first speaker to be joined by Minister Asinji, who is the Minister of Mines for the Republic of Gabon. He has served in that position since March of 2022, when Gabon chose to uh, carve out mines from the previous portfolio for which it belonged, which was oil and gas. After graduating from the Polytechnic School of Bordeaux University, uh, minister, the minister started his professional career as the head of PME and PMI and value chain at the Pan-African Ecobank in 2009. He then joined the Gabonese Fund for Strategic Investments as business manager and later, he was appointed as the advisor of the Gabonese president and project manager of the task force Water and Energy. In 2021, he was appointed as the general manager of the Equatorial Mining Company and then to his current position as the Minister of Mines. The Minister has his leadership and political stature from his father, Osinji Nidbande Gaston, who worked for several years in the Gabonese political party where he held many positions of high responsibility. In addition to his very important role as the Minister for Mines in Gabon, he also manages a non-for-profit organisation called Nazilla Leaders, which seeks to improve vulnerable persons' quality of life in Gabon. Please join me in welcoming Minister Osinji. Text, okay. Bonjour. I will try to speak, uh, speak in English. Let's go. Excellency, distinguished guests and participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's very pleasure and honor for me to attend this event in my capacity of Minister of Charge in Energy and Mine on Geology and Gabonese Republic. I see, first of all, Please allow me on behalf of His Excellency Ali Bongo Ndimba, President of Gabonese Republic and Head of State, as well as the govern Government of Gabonese Republic to warmly thank the Australian Authority for their help and effort in welcoming our delegation in Perth and their support in Gabon coming a member of the Commonwealth. The team of PDF Media for their invitation to attend and participate in this event. It is an honor for me to promote the Gabonese mining sector and to present the investment opportunity it offers. The Gabonese Republic is a platform of political and social stability, favorable to the development of investment Located in, located in Africa, Central Africa, 7,200 miles away from the city of Perth, the country has an area of over 267,000 square meters, more than 89% of which is covered with tropical forests. The country's economy is mainly based on the exploitation of its natural resources. To search and intend that Gabon is to debut as a specialist of a harmonious and efficient exploitation of its natural resources. As a matter of, that, of fact, every time our country set its seat on one its, its resources, is quickly obtained convincing results and effective partnership with foreign investment. Regarding the whole industry, Gabon is the fifth oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa with proven reserve of two billion barrels. In the forest, the timber industry, Gabon was able to increase within 10 years the number of wood processing factory from 80 in 90, 200, 2009 to nearly 116 in 2018. And he's now the champions in forest preservation and the first carbon positive country in the world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the mining industry is not be hard done in this prospect. 
Very early on, Gabon was able to focus one on its flagship mineral, manganese, of which the country is now the second larger producer in the world. To date, more than 16 exploration projects are underway in the territory for a, a fabulous substances. Several, several of these projects are in the final phase of the feasibility study and four are already production. In addition, in addition the country is pleased to welcome on its soul. Several Australian investors and operators, in particular jamming group, who are here today. The feasibility study in iron ore by Banyaka project is in its final phase. Or the Apollo group, also here today, on the lead and zinc crucial project, also Armada Metal Little, uh, Limited on the exploration of the nickel and copper prospect of Nyanga. Also, the government had just signed in August 19 a major mining research agreement with Fortress II Metal Group for the exploration of a world-class Bellinga iron ore project, considered as one of the four largest iron ore projects of the African continent and of the world. Other development are underway with reputable company such as uh, Eramet, Managem, uh, Societe Equatorial de Min, Alpha Century Mining. Such successes are not accident. They are basing on two inseparable foundations, which are the social and political stability of a country and the presence of existing larger scale, scale infrastructure, both largely available to the mining industry. Two assets that allow us to quickly design with easy of mine, the implementation of large scale industrial projects. Two assets that the country now intend to make available to international stakeholder of the mining industry. In order to quickly advance the development of its mining industry, Gabon has set itself four strong objectives. Firstly, if you reserve estimate at more than 250 million tons, Gabon intends to further increase the exploitation of manganese with the objective of quickly begin becoming the world leading exporter of manganese. Secondly, Gabon also intends to quickly reach a significant gold production with, with the incoming with upcoming commencement of production of several gold projects, including the ATK project development by manager. Thirdly, we are preparing to swiftly start the production of iron ore, in particular by the exploitation of the high grade deposit located in the north of the country, specialist gold development by Jenny and Fortesio Metal Group. Finally, Gabon intend to launch has a now the exploration of the other minor, mineral substances present in large number in the Gabonese subsoil, in particular, rare earth, copper, zinc, or uranium. Excellencies, Ladies and gentlemen, in order to meet their ambition objective, Gabon has undertaken to offer a stable, secure, 
a favorable investment framework to the international operation that are willing to make the investment that the country is looking for. Such framework relies on those pillars, pillars that make Gabon successes in other industries which are the implementation of new regulations that are comprehensive and favorable for foreign investments. Also, allowing a real balance between the expectation of each of stakeholder. The improvement of the institutional framework of the mining industry in order to ensure better support from mining administration available to operate all throughout the value chain. And finally, the availability of TOCNOT transportation and poor infrastructure making it possible to consider the exploitation of EV ore, such as iron ore, and to ensure the profitability of projects. As a result, in addition to its particip participation in the global initiative, is areas such, such as the EITI and Kimberley process. Gabon has been offered for several years an advantageous competitive country risk profile. To conclude, the Gabonese Republic also intends to mobilize the large-scale infrastructure already existing in the country to support the development, development of its mining sector. The capital human with the regional mining school in Gabon, available for your staff. In this respect, the Gabonese Mining Railway, Railway Commission is 1978 is a significant asset for the development of our mining industry. As the true backbone of our industry, this, this 700 kilometers long railway crossing the country from earth to west can connect the most remo remote area of the country to the deep water mineral port of Ovendo, close our capital city, Libreville. Likewise, the Atlantic coast of the country benefit from the from three deep water ports strategically placed near the major manganese, oil, and wood industrial center. Finally, the Gabonese territory is meshed with several major energy infrastructure to gather ensure for now a production capacity of more than 600 megawatts and soon 900 megawatts, a significant part of which is available for the mining industry. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Gabonese delegation who came to this event has only one mission, promote Gabon as an attractive destination for international mining industry. With this proven, now, how no is the development and harmonious exploitation of natural resources and its already existing large-scale infrastructure. Hoping to soon have the pleasure to welcoming to our beautiful country. I thank you for your kind attention. Merci.